everybody. Good morning. Carla Nicole. So I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, this happens with, it's really not a gender situation. It could be men or women going through this. But um, when you're in a relationship and you find yourself um, rising, feeling like a, in your soul, you have a rise inside about um, your relationship going through something. Um, there's like a undying change that you cannot describe. Um, you're feeling some kind of uneasiness in your relationship and you just cannot get it out of your head. Well, I'm calling that the rise in suspicion. So a lot of times, you know, when you're in relationships, you're finding yourself um, really, you know, you are just getting to the point where you're questioning everything, any and everything. Um, they could be doing something, you know, changing their cologne or perfume, or they have a newfound friend, or they are doing something they don't normally do and what you're finding yourself doing in the inside of yourself, you're building a suspicion. You're building a suspicion about what their intentions are. Are they really caring about me? Um, I'm questioning their devotion to me. Are they going to be faithful or are they going to cheat on me? And in these questions, what happens is inside we get this built in um, concern. And then in that concern, we're finding ourselves suspicious. We're suspicious about everything. And once you get suspicious about your significant other, trust and believe your suspicion will not get any better. It will just, it's almost like an avalanche. Once that little stone in the mind starts to rolling down that hill of suspicion, anything could be um, suspicious at this point after that. And you're finding yourself so overwhelmed that um, you're you're suffering from trust issues now. Um, any and everything they're doing is just you're questioning. The reason why I started the series, which is called the Suspicion Series, the reason I started that is because um, I was spiritually moved to realize that in relationships, everything could be fine, everything could be well, and then all of a sudden something happens where. You in yourself are having an issue with something that your boyfriend or your girlfriend is doing that you're questioning now, are they really with me or are they doing something else? And in those thoughts, I want you to get this because this is very important. In those thoughts of suspicion, this may or may not be true or may or may not be the case. So the reason why I'm writing about suspicions is because... Suspicions is a is like I, tell, I talked about this before. It's the flip side of jealousy. For instance, you're with someone, you care about them, everything's fine, you have a beautiful relationship, and you're really enjoying each other. But the next thing you know, um, just say for instance, they find a newfound friend that happens to be of the opposite sex, and guess what? They are connecting well. They get along, um, but that person has a a need of some kind or is going through some type of stress and your significant other is caring about their stress and in your heart in mind you begin to question the other person's motive not necessarily your mate or your significant other but what's that other person chummy with my boyfriend or my girlfriend for like why all of a sudden are they all over here texting my man or texting my girl what's up with that and then what happens is when you are interactive with your significant and say for instance this other person begins calling or texting your mate what happens we get attitude right we start <sighs> how long are you going to be on that phone or just an attitude sometimes it could be we can say stuff so non-verbally we can just our actions change almost instantaneously because we're angry that your time is now being taken away from me because of this person that you so-called care about all of a sudden and this so-called caring about that person seems to be taking over your care for me. Now is that necessarily true? Or is that necessarily an issue inside? Think about this for a minute. I want you guys to get this because I think it's important. If you have a significant other that has chosen to care about someone else 
that is in distress in the time of need or um, has lost a friend or family member or spouse or something tragic has happened in their lives and your mate or your significant other decides to have some compassion for that person and you begin to get an attitude or begin to um, cause this issue with that person because you're feeling like they're taking away from you. You will cause, I'm telling you, you will cause an instant problem within your harmonic relationship. And let me tell you, it is a toxin and a poison and it will destroy your relationship. I'm telling many people about suspicion because suspicion is definitely destroying good, loving relationships. And that is just a small scenario. Just telling you off the rip that a lot of times this kind of stuff is happening. And the next thing you know, he or she may not even be somebody of their interest. But because you're acting a fool, they're now doing what? Hiding from you. They are now hiding their conversations with this person from you. Because you are acting a fool every time that person calls, texts, comes by, it's a problem. So now they're like, hey, look, my girl or my dude is having an issue with our friendship. So I'm going to need for you to call me on my business phone. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is real stuff. Call me on my business phone. If you want to come and talk to me when I'm at work and, and I get some time, at, meet me at work at lunch. Because my, my girl or my dude is causing all these issues because of our friendship. And when I tell you that happens, what, co what it causes now is a secrecy. <laughs> In that secrecy, people, this is how opportunity happens for infidelity that, you, that everybody wants to talk about. Infidelity, infidelity, infidelity. He cheated, he cheated, she cheated. It's beyond that. Understand, suspicion can cause infidelity opportunities. Not because of anything else than something that small and minute. Just that scenario alone. If your significant other cares about someone else and you get an attitude or you start feeling some type of way because you're seeing them caring about someone else, I'm telling you it's a poison and a toxin and it will destroy a decent, harmonious relationship. And unfortunately, if we don't stay conscious of our own personal issues with this, it will cause so many ongoing problems. And it is so, so, un I mean, undeniably sad that I've seen beautiful relationships make a, a complete turn for the worse. Because it's not even that that person maybe even be attracted to your significant or vice versa. They may just care about someone's well-being. And my thing is, we need to get off of this. We don't want our men or our women to care about other people. We only want them to care about us. But wasn't that why you picked them? I mean, to me, I don't want a person in my life that doesn't have a caring heart for other people. So how am I to look at the, my significant other caring about someone else? Giving a care about, oh my God, you know, someone's in distress. Can I help them? Don't ask me. Go. I don't care if you care about somebody else. That's not taken from me. That's not taking that. That's not taking my time up. And if it is, so be it. Sometimes we have to be like, look, take care of someone else because our selfish ways can cost so much in relationships. And unfortunately, the suspicion series that I'm writing about right now needs to be addressed. And I'm just giving you that small scenario now so you guys can take a look at yourselves. You pick this mate that has a caring heart, then remember that caring heart can also extend after you to someone else. That's pretty. That's handsome. That's good. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be um, in an in, in a affair with them. That could just mean they build a friendship. And that's okay. We're spending too much time worried about our significant other having a friend of the opposite sex. So what? I mean, really, so what? We have to get beyond this issue about, oh, my God. All he wants to do is talk to her on the phone. And I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do that. Take a pause. I talked about this before. Do a 30-day challenge on this. If you begin finding yourself rising inside of suspicious thoughts, stop yourself. Because if you don't, 
You can cost yourself a beautiful relationship. A beautiful, harmonious relationship will go right down the tubes. Your relationship is not exempt. Trust me. Trust me. And just like Rhonda said, suspicion needs to be checked and contained in a proper context. But your mate does have a responsibility to be respectful. I'm in the relationship. Yes, you're right, Rhonda. They do have a responsibility. But if we, but what we have to be mindful of is we don't want to take that and then just tell them they can't be compassionate. Because if you take away somebody's compassion for other people, and that's really their drawn heart, it's going to cost you because they're going to become secretive. And that is not what you want. You do not want anyone to be secretive. You want them to be open and honest with you because the minute they start hiding this person because you're having issues with it, it's going to cost you in the long run. I don't have a lot of time this morning but or this afternoon. Well, it's still kind of morning, but I just wanted to address this. And the suspicious the suspicion series is on my WordPress. I do have a WordPress. Um, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the WordPress. It is in the know. N T H E the no K N O W. Um, it's on WordPress, and I also write on my um, Facebook Facebook page, which is the Jealousy Resolution Corner. So go there and subscribe as well. And you know, I already have a couple writings about the suspicion series. Uh, suspicion series. Um, I've talked about things not adding up. That's one of them. And I've also talked about, um, what was my other one? Things not adding up. And then there's another, there's another article I wrote as well. I can't remember right off the top of my head, but go over there and check them out. Um, these, these articles are meant to help and, and definitely, um, help people to get away from being so overly consumed about, you know, sharing a, a significant other that has a caring heart. Because if you chose a person that is giving and caring and loving, um, that's going to extend after you. And you don't want to lose them because you begin having this rise of suspicion that they're doing something that maybe they're not. Maybe they're just caring about other people. Maybe they're just looking out for the community. And we need more of those ambassadors out here. And it's not always about, oh, she's going to take my man. That's not always the case. Sometimes they just care. And caring is really now so unheard of anymore you know oh i can't go over there i can't do this i can't do that i mean we're in a bubble because we're in a relationship that's silly we need to get off of it so again i want you guys to check out my my page jealousy resolution corner um read the suspicion series i'm going to be writing a new one most likely this weekend and um, i'll keep you guys posted but Again, um, thank you, Rhonda, for chiming in. Joseph, I see you. So glad you're here. Gerald, let me see what you said. You said your thought is two events will happen tomorrow. The same two events have been happening since the dawn of time and will happen long after I'm gone. That is the sun will rise. And But if she chooses not to be the same, then that's her choice. Life moves on. Exactly. Just exactly, Gerald. You don't have to play the games. But people, you know... People will be people. <laughs> Things can happen. Life is unpredictable. There's always going to be an unknown. But at the end of the day, you don't want to pour this toxin of suspicion into a beautiful relationship you already have because what happens is it can just destroy it. And I've seen more good, wholesome relationships destroyed just because of suspicion. And I'm really hoping that that, that can change. So I want to thank everybody for being here this morning. It's Carla Nicole signing off. Best kept. Have a good day. Bye.